protect your DNA. BioPQQ can promote formation of new mitochondria. InfoWarsStore.com Welcome to the InfoWars Nightly News. I'm your host, Jakari Jackson. It's December 11, 2014, and here's a look at our top stories. Tonight, Congress passes a bill which grants unlimited access to communications of every American. Then, U.S. covert action in Cuba continues as government agencies infiltrate the Cuban hip-hop scene. And who is the mysterious info warrior posting billboards nationwide? That's coming up next on the InfoWars Nightly News. And welcome back. When we hear about guns in this country, it's usually some politicians saying nine out of 10 people are in favor of stricter gun control. But a new poll shows that that is definitely not the case. A recent Pew Research Center poll reveals support for the Second Amendment and gun ownership is at a two-decade high. Currently, 52% say it's more important to protect the right of Americans to own guns, while 46% say it's more important to control gun ownership. The Washington, D.C.-based think tank reports. And that's exactly right, because every time they say these 9 out of 10, you know, I, I always think about this in terms of President Obama walking around the White House, and he asks 9 out of 10 people, and he's like, okay, I'm commanding you to say that you don't want these uh, stricter measures, because they always come up with these numbers. And where do these numbers come from? But we can see the people are speaking out. They understand that they want guns to protect themselves, because they do understand that there's not going to be somebody to protect you there all the time, i.e. Ferguson, Missouri, the shops right outside the police station, directly across the street from the police station, get robbed, get looted. Nobody was there to protect them, even though the cops were right outside the street, in the street, matter of fact, with, you know, 100 plus guys and heavy armor and battle tanks and all that stuff, or should I say MRAPs, everybody wants to take uh, the tank quote out of context. So these are the things going on, and I do, uh, I'm very happy to see that people are waking up to this and they will not be disarmed. We see record gun sales. I think they had the largest background check ratio over the past uh, Black Friday, record gun sales every place you turn. So let's turn now to some of the actions that police are doing, the political correct climate that we now live in, which is very strong. Cop allows Saudis with a dead baby in trunk to drive away so not to offend Muslims. The vehicle, which had paper tags and a registration violation, contained three Saudi Arabians with Saudi driver's licenses who told the officer they had a dead child in the trunk prepared for an Islamic burial at a mosque in Franklin. This is in Tennessee. So let's stop right there. You volunteer a statement to an officer saying quite literally, you have a dead child in your trunk. And in my mind, you know, you guys know about me, I'm not for police searches and unwarranted searches and seizures, but if somebody says there's a dead baby in my trunk, I think it's probable cause to maybe go get a warrant and take a look inside that trunk. But in the politically correct climate, the officer, who is a rookie, I'll give him that, said he didn't want to offend the Muslims inside the car. He didn't want to interfere with their practices. But it's a very serious offense. And as Paul points out in the article, if you're smoking marijuana or the officer suspects you have marijuana, you get pulled out of the car, roadside cavity search, two girls, one glove, happened twice here in the state of Texas in recent memory that I know of. Uh, I'm sure it happened many other places as well. Also, the no refusal DUI checkpoints, where if you're suspected of driving under, under the influence, they can take you to the jail, draw your blood without your permission, it's just completely ridiculous, the things that they do, the no-knock warrants all the way around. But to be politically correct, we can't check and make sure that there is a baby in the trunk. The article points out that the officer also failed to get the names of the men or even check if there was a mosque in Franklin, which there turns out there isn't. Just uh, complete. As much as the police state is out there, you would think they would eventually actually do something worthwhile. But it's hard to do that. But we do have good officers, guys like Clark out in Milwaukee and Finch down in Florida. But... They need to train these guys on what exactly the hell they need to be doing. Congress passes a bill which grants unlimited access to communications of every single American. According to Congressman Justin Amash, Congress just passed a bill which grants the government and law enforcement unlimited access to communications of every American. The legislation, which passed yesterday, 325 to 100 via a voice vote, a green light for what Amash describes as one of the most egregious sections of law I've encountered during my time as a representative. 
And if you read the article on Infowars.com, you can see his comments, his letter to his colleagues. So yes, we do know that they're spying on us, the NSA, all the data mining. They want to spy on you through your cell phones. They want to threaten Apple when Apple has encryption. I'm skeptical of Apple for various other reasons, but at least on the surface, they're putting up a face that they're trying to protect your privacy. And it seems like the more privacy you want, the more privacy that they want to take from you. It's very, uh, very disheartening. Now let's talk about something else. Let's switch gear and talk about marijuana. Uh, last night, we talked about some of the legislation going through with some of the failed legislation to legalize marijuana in various parts of the country. But now we have this. U.S. won't stop Native Americans from growing, selling pot on their lands, opening the door for what could be a lucrative and controversial new industry on some Native American reservations. The Justice Department on Thursday will tell U.S. attorneys not to prevent tribes from growing or selling mar marijuana on sovereign lands, even in states that ban it. So, you know, for all the things the Native Americans have lost, uh, I guess primarily being the United States of America, they can say you can at least grow weed on your reservation. And that's not to say that all Native Americans are going to jump up and do this. They're just saying, hey, you do have the option if you choose to do that on your lands. And if you guys know me, I'm not what you would call a recreational marijuana advocate, but I don't like people being sent to prison under mandatory minimums. I also recognize the medical effects of marijuana, and people want to say, well, you can get high off medical marijuana. I'm going to clue you guys in on a little secret if you didn't know it. You can get high off stuff you get at the pharmacy, too. You can get high off those prescription pills. You can get high off, or I guess drunk, rather, off uh, cough syrup. They call it the purple drink. You can get high off a lot of stuff. You can get high off huffing paint. So the notion that everybody's going to go get high off medical marijuana is kind of a non-factor in my opinions. But while they're giving Americans this, Native Americans, they are taking away their lands. So if you have enough land to actually grow the marijuana on, I guess you could do that. But they're trying to make sure that that's not really a possibility, at least in Arizona. The opinion piece published in Indian Country Today documents how the National Defense Authorization Act is being used to strip lands from the San Carlos Apache tribe in Arizona. And that's exactly right. You know, as much as they don't want to take away from the Native Americans that I just talked about, we'll give you some weed that you can grow on your land. That's if you have any land left to grow it on. It's a very uh, sad thing to see that they're taking even more away from the people who uh, deserve more than what they have. And we'll end our segment tonight with this. U.S. tried to undermine Cuba by infiltrating its underground hip-hop scene. This is a story about how Cuban artists were approached by Americans, and they said, hey, you know, why don't you do songs about this or do songs about that? And the goal was to overthrow the communist government of Raul Castro. And I'm not vouching for communism. But all it did, it backfired and put the targets at greater risk. So, you know, you talk about these things, how the music industry is controlled. Uh, Rick Ross was here, the real Rick Ross, talking about how... The hip-hop culture, you know, there are definitely good groups out there, Public Enemy, KRS-One, other people like that. But a lot of what you see in mainstream, these guys are out there saying it's, it's good to be a thug, it's good to be, you know, this or that, be a pimp. And I understand it's entertainment. At the end of the day, if you get arrested for selling drugs, I don't blame Jay-Z or whoever. That was your personal decision. But these guys are putting a very unhealthy message out into the community, and, you know, people need to stand up and make their voices heard so we can get good things, positive things, going in our music. Well, that's it for this segment. Stay tuned. After this break, we'll have a special report from John Bound detailing torture. And also, I'll speak to Robert Bro, the guy who's been posting up the InfoWars billboards. Stay tuned. Sold out for weeks due to the difficult and extensive proprietary process behind its creation, the exclusive InfoWars Life Secret 12 formulation is now back in stock in the last limited shipment of 2014. The most bioactive form that has been created with our proprietary process. This ultra-clean vitamin B12 nutraceutical has been carefully crafted and developed over the last two years and is based on cellular science of how your body actively absorbs essential nutrients. Secret 12 is taken by mouth, right on the tongue, and then swallowed. No needles, no injections. Vitamin B12 deficiency is linked to scores of serious problems. And Secret 12 is a fusion of two organic proprietary forms of vitamin B12, bringing you a true nutraceutical quality vitamin B12, Secret 12. Secret 12 is an excellent Christmas gift and is tailor-made to boost your New Year's resolutions. Supplies of Secret 12 are very limited. Secure yours today at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139.